Hey guys, Rob here. We're back for another episode of What's This Trail. Today's episode, trail, double exposure, as requested by Maxim. Thanks for watching Maxim, thanks for the suggestion. So, double exposure guys, advanced grade four, but double exposure, expert riders only. So this track is sort of a work in progress. Starts off nice and easy, as you'll see, but it gets very steep and technical with no easy lines. So what this means, guys, is don't get lulled into a false sense of security, riding down the top going, oh, this is nice, because it goes from two to 11 real fast, and if you're not ready for it, you'll get yourself in trouble. So let's head on down the trail and see what we're talking about. Right up. So like we said, the trail starts off nice and easy. Just roll on down. Got a route coming across the trail. It's quite nice just to pop off. Adds that little bit of spice. Like we said before, anytime you can spice the trail for free, that's a good time. So once you've spiced up the trail, Roll on down, nice and smooth, no problem. Up this rise, nothing drastic. A little bit of an off camber, wee bit dusty. It's all good. Up and around this rock. Hopefully uh, one day the plan is to include this rock, build it out there, off the rock, into, into somewhere. Work in progress, we'll get there. Now, this is quite good. So you come down this off camber hill, and obviously a lot of people just boom, into this boom, 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 boom. Nice big boom. You've got a bit of a reverse of grade up there, so you have to pedal out. So what you want to try and do, is just try and sneak and stay nice and high. Because if you can stay high, you can carry your speed, and you don't have to do as much. But again, quite loose, quite dusty, that's all right. Trust the side knobs, and uh, carry on. So after that big boom, it is a wee bit uphill and straight. So you're either going to crank really hard or just cruise. I mean, it's not a race. Now once we've come up to here, shoots down, a little bump to compress over, down, around the left hander. Now you can get heaps of speed here and it is really cool but just keep the fingers on the brakes because we're almost at the spicy part. So we've just shot down there, really cool. Maybe we did a wee jump off that. Now, again, just eases around to the right, but you can't actually see where the trail goes from here. But this is where you need to start slowing down because for reasons we'll show you. Okay, so we've just come past that tree. Like I'm saying, this is where you need to start slowing down. 
because it gets very narrow, very rooty, very loose. So, you come down here into this very narrow track, and this is where you want to ease up because now we're into the double exposure. Exposure number one, very narrow. So right here, one, mm. one and three quarters. So about 50 centimeters wide. Down there, mm, that's a bad time. You remember what the ski instructor says? If you make fries instead of pizza, you're gonna have a bad time. So right here, guys, we want the pizza on the brakes, slowing down, being careful. So again, guys, we're working with just over a literal foot of track width. Now, on the brakes, guys, because corner number one, This fella, very steep, very rooty on the outside. So what you want to try and do is just stay to the inside, get your weight all the way back, and just down here, down here. And then you really need to control that speed because powder. Just woo up, just ease on down. Looks like some top guys are managing to get way out here. Now, top score to them, I can't do that, but they can and that's great. What they're doing is, by going out there is they're opening up the corner so that they don't have to do so much of a stop at the bottom. But uh, that's all I know how to do, so that's what will happen. Now the reason you need to keep that speed right down is because exposure number two is poof, down there. And again, like that's literally, literally a foot's worth of track to try and stay on. They, uh, I think we're probably gonna have to work on a retaining wall as the track progresses and turns into its final form. Because as we're jumping down here, off camber, got a root. Uh, let's, let's fix that up. But if you're not working with much trail, guys. That's why you need to keep the speed down. And the wheel placement is very precise. How's it, Rob? Well, I'm still on the hill, so that's something. Hill let's try. Up. Let's try that again, eh? That's dusty. Well, it still wasn't wasn't perfect, guys, but. We made it around. I'll insert a, uh, a clip from a previous video where we actually make it around the corner really nice. Okay, so you can see that it is possible. In these conditions, it's really bad, but uh, got to be confident. Right, let's, let's carry on. Now once you made it through there, it's all good. We've got this nice big turn, nice and flat. You can have a bit of a <sighs> collect yourself as we head down into right-hander number two. You drop off this roll, 
That's drastic. Just a nice roll. Come down here. Oops. Up here again, we're just we're breathing, we're getting ready. Now the second corner definitely isn't as bad as the first. It's got a much nicer setup. The corner's in much better nick. And there's uh, a lot less, a lot less to happen if things go wrong. But if you've negotiated that corner, you're probably gonna be okay. But don't take that for granted. Stay on top of your game. So set up to right left. Turn. Then we've just got a nice straight donk donk. I guess if you really needed to, you could bail out into a mishmash. Mishmash, we've already done in What's This Trail. you find that up here. But come back and do that later. Watch the rest of this video. Whoop. Up onto this rise. Now, we've been down one spicy corner, two spicy corners. Now we're into the third spicy part of the trail with options. Option number one, straight off down here. Now, it's, an, it's rollable, no problems at all. Nothing in your way, just roll down. Option number two, again, still a roll, but not as steep. Come out to ride right. And sort of, I'd probably almost call it a bit of a wall ride. You come around and just down there. Now this first A option, five feet tall, but again, it's just a roll. A bit of a knuckle there, nothing drastic. Need to be controlling speed the whole time. The B line, still a roll, but mm, two and a half, three feet, a lot easier. Now, you get to this crossover, where the A comes down, the B comes down. From here you can still take either of the remaining options. You come down A, turn into the B, come down the B, carry on to the B. Same thing for the straight line. Now the straight line I reckon if you were really, really good and really, really inclined, you could probably huck out from here to land on that off-canber, rooty, rocky bit. I'm not doing that. I don't recommend you do that. Start off, just, it's a roll. Come down, roll down, over the roots, chonk, 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 out into that weed catch bin. line a lot less drastic come down and it's just you ride straight down here into this nice super nice big berm which then sets you up nice and straight to carry on out watch out for traffic coming off mishmash where it joins up just past that tree here comes Mel on the B here comes Mel on the B Now if you've zoomed down those two sweet pieces of trail, like I said, gotta watch out for the join up off mishmash. Because we don't need any collisions. No one's gonna have a good time, and that's all anyone mountain bikes for. A good time. So. 
into this super sweet big bowl. Now, main line down here, try and get up a wee bit high, carry that speed, or pro line. Pro line's up here. Now, I can see myself riding up here, but as for this route and then this just, I mean, look at this. What is this? It's too sick. We talked about this last time, guys. Too sick. Big props to those guys. That's not me. I'm down here. Maybe I'm up here. Because you want to try and just stay a wee bit high so you don't have to do so much gnarly turning. And then you just come out here. Whoop, out down the step down. This is a super nice step down. As long as you get your front wheel out past it, you're all good. Uh, I don't think you can roll this, guys. If you can't, if you can't attempt to jump this, just take the beam line. Well, guys, that was double exposure. Thanks for joining us today. As you can see, in conditions like this, where the dust is at minus 11 on the gryptometer, it's quite hard. So if you are coming out to have a look at this trail, I suggest A, come out with your buddies, because then you can bounce the confidence off each other. Stop and look at the last section first, because it is very steep, very dusty. Confidence is key. You need confidence to think you're going to get around there, but you should always expect the unexpected. If you expect the unexpected, nothing's unexpected. So if you've liked this, guys, hit like. If you subscribe, see more, go back and look at the other videos that we've done. Uh, click here to see a full lap down DE into the water jump. And until next time, guys, ride on.